Top researchers are in Houston this morning presenting the latest findings on potentially deadly food allergies. In our morning rounds, Dr. Holly Phillips explores a promising experimental treatment that confronts the risk head on. Some are calling it a cure. Holly, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Every three minutes in the United States, someone visits an emergency room with a potentially life-threatening allergic reaction to food. Now, one doctor is trying to change that with a revolutionary approach. I'm so excited. Same. We're ready? We're I'm excited. excited too. Okay. Yeah. For most of 11 year old Lindsay Aaron Price's life, food has been a source of fear. The most microscopic exposure to many types of nuts could cause her to have a lethal allergic reaction. Every speck of nut, not just that she would eat, but even the cross contamination from dishes and pots and pans and other people's kitchens were her cyanide. But that's right. changing. The For the last the eight months, better. Lindsay has been receiving an experimental treatment called oral immunotherapy. It's part of a clinical trial at Stanford University led by immunologist and researcher Dr. Kari Nadeau. Yeah. We want to give you lots of choices, right? Yeah. Just like your friends are doing without allergies. Bit by yeah. bit, her body's being trained to no longer react to foods she's allergic to, a process called desensitization. Tell me how you treat allergies. What we do is to try to take away people's allergies and try to do it permanently. In order to do that, though, you have to give someone back the same food that they're allergic to. We're going pink on the band-aids. At the start of the treatment, Dr. Nadeau and her team give most patients a series of injections to lower the body's immune response. Several weeks later, they start eating just a few grains of the foods they're allergic to. Over the course of about six months to a year, that amount has steadily increased. I was nervous, but the thing was, I saw how tiny the <laughs> Netflix were, and then, like, I literally said one, two, three, and then I ate it. Now, Lindsay can eat 60 nuts in one day without having a reaction. Ooh, I like this one, too. Food allergies are on the rise, doubling approximately every 10 years. One in 13 American children are affected. Altogether, 25% will have a severe reaction called anaphylaxis. 17-year-old no, Nicholas Perazio completed the study in 2013. At nine months old, his first taste of macaroni and cheese landed him in the ER. You could not even kiss him after you ate a piece of cheese. His entire face would blow up. Before treatment, his but mom, Kathy, was in a constant state of panic. It's like an alarm. and. It felt like it never went off. And then after Carrie, I felt like, I'm sorry. Okay. I feel like, it, not that the bell stopped ringing, but it's just quieted. Now Nicholas takes a daily maintenance dose of foods he used to be allergic to in the form of a cookie. Do you think you changed his life? Oh, I know I changed his life. The treatment is not without risk. Some patients have experienced abdominal pain, skin rashes, and tingling in the mouth and throat. Is this a cure? When I think about the word cure, I think cure is for life. And right now, we haven't tested anyone for their full lifetime. Congratulations. Awesome. Thanks, Kai. Great teamwork. <laughs> she's, had, she's had a lot of firsts. What I've seen is how heroic how much I admire these people for being able to face their fears and say, but I know at the end of this, I'm going to be able to eat and eat without fear. Dr. Nadeau has treated more than 700 patients and over 300 are currently still in clinical trials. And while the therapy has been overwhelmingly successful, it can only be done in a monitored hospital setting. This is not something people can try at home. Boy, Dr. Nadeau is changing people's lives because this is such a huge issue. I know so many yeah. parents who struggle with the issue of food allergies. Absolutely. And the question, too, that everyone asks, why are food allergies on the rise? You know, that is the million-dollar question, Nora. We know that genes play a huge role, but the rise in allergies probably has to do with a couple of things, and it's probably a complex interaction between our genes and the environment. Things like air pollution, chemicals, things in the foods we eat. Um, so, you know, there's really a lot of energy and a lot of research being put into but it. The Lack of exposure too. I mean, kids. None of our kids eat peanut butter because peanut butter is not allowed in schools anymore. Anyway. There's a hygiene it, yeah. hypothesis yeah. behind it as well. Yeah, really interesting. Thank you so much, Dr. Holly. There's going to be a huge response to this story, no doubt.